the claimant's case is that one, the deceased was knocked down by Abelardo Mai at a time when he ought to have seen her and avoided her. As a result of knocking her down, he caused her severe injuries, not, not minor injuries, you know, brain, moderately severe brain damage. That is how it was classified. And those injuries were the same injuries that caused her death. So that is the case of the claimant. One, you are responsible because you knock her down. Two, these are the injuries she suffered. Three, from the, those injuries she died. And four, damages restore the, the, the deceased, and in this case it won't be the deceased, the, the um, estate of the deceased, to a position had you not done those things. I believe that the issue is going to be one of, one, the court has to address the question of liability. I think that is going to be one of the main thing, and that us usually follows after liability is determined, then the question as to damages would be the next thing. So the damages relates to how much and the liability will determine how much it with and you did hear it, my lord say in court we are to also address the court on the issue of quantum damages how much and of course that is whether or not you are saying full liability or not okay of course your client disputes any liability is that accurate well the client's view and the client's position is that the accident happened so quickly that it was hard for him to do otherwise and I think with anybody we all drive on the roads and we know that sometimes things happen and it might not give you the full time to be able to to respond and it's something that may happen to any of us really and that pretty much is what the court has to square up but remember that there are always two sides to every story there's the viewpoint that the driver has there's the viewpoint from the pedestrians perspective and so the court has to take both of them now and determine having the look the overall view what to come to.